All right, everybody, linear searches. We need to talk about linear searches because this wouldn't be a complete course without them. With a linear search, we iterate through a collection one element at a time. The runtime complexity of a linear search is big O of n. The larger the data set, the number of steps to complete that search will increase proportionately. The disadvantages of a linear search is that they are slow for large data sets. But with the advantages, they are fast for searches of small to medium sized datasets. And they don't need to be sorted. That's a huge benefit over binary searches and interpolation searches. And they are useful for data structures that do not have random access, such as linked lists. So let's begin. Let's create a basic array of integers. Int array. And to make up some numbers, they don't necessarily need to be in order. All right, then let's find an index, int index equals, and we will invoke a linear search function, which we still need to declare. We will pass in our array and some value we would like to search for. Uh, let's search for the number one. Okay, so then let's declare this function, create method, linear search, private static int linear search. So we have two parameters, an integer array, and an integer. I'm going to rename i as value, so it's more descriptive. Okay, with a linear search, all we need to do is loop through our array one element at a time. So we can do that with the for loop. So let's set int i, our index, equal to zero. We will continue this as long as i is less than our array's length, then increment i by one. What we're checking with an if statement is to see if our array at index of i is equal to the value that we're searching for, this parameter. If it is, then let's return whatever our index is, i. If we do not find it after iterating through our entire array, let's return negative one as a sentinel value. And that's all there is to it to our linear search function. So back within our main function, let's check to see if the value returned does not equal negative one. That means that we found our value. So with an if else statement, let's check to see if index does not equal negative one. That means that we have found our element. So let's print element found at index plus index. Else, let's print element not found. System.out.println element not found. So if we're searching for the number one, we would find that at index one, zero, one. If we search for five, that is found at index eight, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If there's some number that's not in here like 10, then this will print element not found. So yeah, that's the idea behind a linear search. We iterate through some collection one element at a time. It's slow for large data sets, but it's fast for small to medium data sets. This would be a small data set, and they do not need to be sorted. That's a huge advantage. So yeah, everybody, that is a linear search. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that is a basic linear search in computer science, I guess.